What is this craziness I'm seeing students use to multiply these days? If you're a middle school teacher of math, you've probably seen some students come into you with this new fandangled way of multiplying, and you might even be a little bit confused about what it actually means. It's called the area model, and here's the thing, it's actually not new. It's been around for many years. It's in the national standards. Students have been using this for many, many years, and a lot of times it doesn't flow into middle school, so the middle school teachers are confused when they see it. Or maybe the parents are confused when they see it, so I want to share with you a little bit about what we want to do with it. We want to show students and help students to understand that this model and this method of looking at the, the multiplication is a great way for conceptual understanding. We want to lean into it. We want to help students to understand that this is a valuable technique we can use. It's not a trick. It's not a flash in the pan. It's really based on conceptual understanding of place values and conceptual understanding of information students already know, building off the successes they already have. Yes, you may be comfortable with the algorithm and you may want to help students understand how to use the algorithm or even just to have them use the algorithm. But what we want to be able to do is lean into previous content, lean into what the way that they've been taught this previously to help them bridge that gap. It can be extremely helpful to help them understand why the algorithm actually works too. It's not just magic. It's not just a memorized routine that just came from nowhere that someone made up. We want to keep it in instruction. We don't want to minimize it. We want to value students that show this. To do that, you may need to learn more about it first.